children, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at home. How do you feel at home? Are you obeying to your parents? Are you praying for our nation? Are you reading books at home? So during this corona season, while going outside, are you wearing masks? Are you following uh, the social distance? So be safe at home. Stay home. Stay safe. So I hope you will do the best. So welcome back to science class. I am C. Jasmine Jiki. I am a science teacher. Are you ready to study science? Do you have interest to study science? Have you seen garden? Do you have garden in your home? Where do we grow plants? What do plants supply us? How do we grow plants? Why do we water the plants? If we water the plants, we will get more plants, more yield we will get. So we are giving water to plants. So what are the things needed to grow a plant? Pot, soil, water, manure, etc. Okay. So if you do you have interest to keep garden in your home, vegetable garden, fruit trees garden. So if you keep a vegetable garden, you will get more fr fresh vegetables and more fruits. So no need to go to uh, vegetable market. So it will give peaceful to our mind and it is a very good exercise to our body. There are two types of plants, flowering plants and non-flowering plants. So what do you mean by flowering plants? Plants which produce flowers are called flowering plants. What do you mean by non-flowering plants? Flowers which Plants which do not produce flowers are called non-flowering plants. Can you give two examples for flowering plants? Rose, jasmine. Can you give some varieties of plants more than uh, uh, these plants? Crotus is there, orchids are there, angurians are there. So more varieties of plants are there. So it, even though in the hibiscus hibis also, more colorful flowers are there. So, flowers will develop into fruits. Flowers will develop into fruits. For example, the papaya flower forms a papaya fruit, an orange flower forms an orange fruit, bitter gourd flower forms a bitter gourd fruit. So, flowers will develop into fruits. So, plants are Amazing. A new plant will grow from the seeds. So, if you eat an apple or an orange, you will find seeds in it. So, during the rainy season, if you eat the fruit and throw the seed outside, after one week, you can observe new seedlings will be growing. Sweet. So, that is called a baby plant. Baby plant is also called as seedling. Baby plant is also called as seedling. The seed also, there are two types of the monocots, dicots. Monocots. So what do you mean by monocots? Plants produce seeds with one cartilage. Plants produce seeds with one cartilage. Our plants are monocots. One cartilage. For example, monocots, rice is a monocot. Rice is a monocot. Did you understand? So what do you mean by monocot? Plants produce seeds with one cartilage is called monocot. It has only one cartilage. For example, rice is the monocot. Next one, dicots. So what do you mean by dicots? Plants produce seeds 
with two cord ribbons are called dipers. So what do you mean by dicots? Plants produce seeds with two cord ribbons are called dicots. For example, uh, what's the example for dicot? Bean seed. Bean seed is an uh, bean seed is a dicot. Groundnut. Groundnut is a dicot. Green gram. Green gram. Have you seen green gram? It looks like green. So it is also a dicot. So what are the examples for dicots? Bean seed, brown nut. What's the example for monocot? Rice. Rice. So, did you understand the difference between monocots and dicots? So, what do you mean by uh, monocots? Plants produce seeds with one cotton. Example. Rice. What do you mean by dicots? Plants produce seeds with two particles. Example, wheat seed, groundnut. Do you understand? So, now let us learn about the structure of a bean seed. Structure of a bean seed. Have you seen bean seed? This is a bean seed. This is a bean seed. So, the inside portion and the outside portion we will study. So in the outside portion, the, is called, the seed coat, the outer covering called seed coat, it protects the baby plant inside the seed. So the outer covering called seed coat, it protects the baby plant inside the seed. In the inside portion, two seed leaves, these are the two seed leaves or otherwise we can call as two particles two particles. So, the inside portion we can say two seed leaves or two particles. So, this is about the structure of the bean seed. Next, what is this? This is a baby plant. This is a baby plant. Seedling can also called as seedling. So, during the early stages of germination, this seedling gets the food required for its growth from this continents. After the food stored in the continents has been used, the leaves grow out. The leaves grow out of the seedling and began to prepare the own food. So the leaves only prepare the own food. So the, this seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil with the help of its roots. So the seedling absorbs water and nutrients from the soil with the help of its roots. So air which is required for germination is reaches the seed through the pores in the soil. So, what are the three things need for the germination of the plant? Air, water and warm. Air, water and warm. So, air which is required for germination reaches the seed through the pores in the soil. Also after that, the seed will grow into a new plant. So, soil is very important for the plants to seedling to grow. So, what is very important for the seedling to grow? Soil is very important for the plants to grow. So, what, what do you mean by this? This is a baby plant. Otherwise, we can call as a seedling. So, if you sow many seeds, if you sow many seeds, what will happen? Only few seeds will be germinate. Wait, because there will be a competition for air, water, light, nutrients and space to grow. 
there will be more competition for germination, for air, water, light, nutrients and space to grow. So, many will die. Only few seeds will be germinate. Only few seeds will be germinate. So, if the seed receives air, water and warmth only, the seed will be germinate into a new plant. Otherwise, the seed will not germinate into a new plant. So, these are the five stages of germination in a bean seed. So, how many stages are there for the seed to germinate? Five stages. So, the first one, the seed gets air, water and warmth. First one, the seed gets air, water and warmth. Second one, the seed soaks up water, the seed pot breaks and the root emerges. Do you understand? Second one, the seed soaks up water, the seed pot will break and the root will be emerging outside. Third one, the new plant develops roots and the shoot. So this is the new plant, develops roots, the roots will be growing under the soil and the shoot will be growing above the soil. Next, fourth one, as the plant grows in size, it develops leaves. So after the growth of the plant, it develops leaves. So the leaves will be ready to prepare the own food material. So fifth one, the cartilidans shrink and disappear. So these are the cartilidans. These cartilidans will be shrink. After that we cannot see the uh, uh, cartilidans. So after the cartilidans shrink and disappear, the seedling will grow into a new plant and prepare the own fruit. So do we understand? So how many stages are there in the germination of the seed? Five stages. What are they? First one, the seed gets air, water and form. Second one, the seed soaks up water. The seed coat breaks and the root emerges. Third one, the new plant develops, roots and shoot. Fourth one, as the plant grows in size, it develops leaves and ready to prepare the own food. Fifth one, the cartilage shrink. We cannot see the cartilage, it will disappear and the seedling will grow into a plant and prepare the own food material. Do you understand? So, what about the structure of the bean seed? Outside portion, outer covering called seed coat. It protects the baby plant inside the seed. So, the seed has a small tiny hole through which the seed gets water to germinate. So, this is the inside portion of the bean seed. It has two seed leaves or cartilidans. So, a small primule also will be uh, emerging outside. So, this is about the structure of the bean seed. So, still, uh, how many stages are there? The stages of germination? Five stages are there. What are they? First one, the seed gets air, water and warmth. So, second one, the seed soaks up water, the seed coat breaks and the root. The third one, the new plant develops roots and a shoot. Fourth one, as the plant grows in size, it develops leaves. Fifth one, the cartilage shrink and disappear. So, what's the difference between monocot and dicot seeds? Monocot, the plants, it produce seeds with one cartilage. It's called monocot. Example, rice. Dicot plants produce seeds with two cartilage. It's are called dicot. Example, bean seed, ground seed. So, what are the things needed to grow a seed growth? What are the things needed to grow a plant? Air, water, and warm. So, if the seed does not receive any one of these three, also the plant will go, the seed will go germinate into a new plant. So, air, water, and warm are the three things necessary for the seed to germinate. So, we understand.
children do you have interest to do this activity what are needs for germination shall we do this activity so take two bowls bowl a and bowl b so the bowl a and b you have to play some cotton wool cotton wool have you seen cotton yes you have to play some cotton wool in this bowl a and bowl b after that you have to place some mustard seeds in the both of the bowls a and b so first we have to place cotton wool in a bowl a and bowl b after that you have to place some mustard seeds in bowl a and bowl b after that you have to moist with the water in bowl a only you have to moist with the water in bowl a only in bowl b you should not moist with water understand you should moist with the water in bowl a you should not moist with water bowl b so after two days you should not do any uh, change so after two days what will you identify we can identify in the bowl a because the bowl a we have moist with the water so the mustard seeds present in bowl a will be germinate after two days the mustard seeds present in bowl b won't germinate into a plant so what's the reason so if a seed want to germinate it needs water if a seed want to germinate it needs water so from this we can understand that water needs for germination water needs for germination so can you do this activity in your home can you do this activity in your home so first you have to take two bowls a and b and you have to place some cotton wool in a and b after that you have to place some mustard seeds in bowl a and bowl b after that you have to moist with water in bowl a and we should not moist with water in bowl b so after two days we can identify the mustard seeds present in bowl a will be germinate so from this we can understand that water needs for germination so you can do this activity in your home understand so all the assignment draw a well labeled diagram of the stage of germination in a bean seed holiday assignment you can draw this diagram the five stages of germination in a bhc and mark the parts do you have book in your home you can copy down the book okay so draw a well labeled diagram of the stages of germination in a bhc so this activity also You can do in your home. This activity also you can do in your home. Okay, thank you.